So, this festival really is somewhat revolutionary uh, when you consider there are about 30 art exhibits, really cool art exhibits spread all around the festival. Yeah, if you've never been to a festival like this before, it is really quite different. And earlier this week, I got a chance to visit with the uh, artistic director who moved here from Germany to try and make this festival a reality. We are out here in City Park. We're planning for the Voodoo Fest is in full swing. And with me now is one of the production designers out here, Stefan Beasy. Stefan, uh, I know the arts is, are a big part of this festival. Tell me a little bit about how much you all are putting together to go along with the great music that's going to be out here. We have uh, over 20, uh, 24 art installations. Some of them are performance art pieces. Um, some are installations, uh, big scale, smaller scale, interactive. Um, this is uh, in collaboration with uh, Kirsche Kechler and her art uh, foundation, uh, Life is Art. And uh, Stephen Rehash, Kish Kechler and I basically started in March of this year to put plan into action and now we are on site and uh, see this happening. Have arts always been a big part of this festival or is it something that's uh, only evolving now? The art is uh, actually a new layer for that festival. It is something that I think Steve always wanted to bring in and uh, the time, timing was right and uh, I uh, worked with Steve last year on the Voodoo Festival. I uh, got to know the festival better and I think this year was a good uh, time to put plan into action. And What do we have uh, behind us here? Uh, behind us it's actually uh, <laughs> Uh, a little bit uh, my fault, <laughs> my creation. It's a it's a container um, that will. It's a container structure. That container structure will function as the lower deck. Um, there's an area behind of it. It's a VIP area of the festival. Uh, you can buy tickets for this uh, area, and um, this is an er erased viewing platform, and it allows you basically to see both stages. But we are very close to the main stage, which is uh, the best view in the house. You see the PlayStation view on the other side, but uh, this structure does more than being just an uh, elevated viewing platform. It allows uh, for um, it allows to house the launch inside in that area. Uh, we will have uh, serving areas uh, for drinks out to the public on this side and to the inside. And on these balconies, you can uh, hang out and watch the show. Has anything been approached? to this magnitude before? How do you incorporate such massive art objects with a concert of this size? Um, well, I think uh, the answer is uh, very simple. I'm an architect and I just try to uh, surprise and do new things and instead of just doing a normal scaffold uh, viewing deck, I thought uh, there needs to be a different uh, experience uh, for to go through a tunnel, go up the stairs and suddenly uh, the visitors uh, find themselves in a cargo container and uh, it's, it's just a completely new uh, game in, in, in terms of building a viewing platform. How many people do you have involved in putting these art objects together? Well the artists itself uh, are about 24 uh, artists and they come with their crew um, so I mean just for the art I would say it's approximately 75 to 100 per people crew and then of course on top of that you have the entire festival Sites and, and Lance, let's people. just take a look at what he's talking about here. It's sort of a, a, a concert observation area, and then we have one stage over here, uh, I guess the main stage, and then over here we've got a second stage as well. So they will alternate between these stages, and people who are lucky enough to have a spot here will be able to see either stage at, at any time. That's, that's right, and the, the beauty is you have the bar right built in underneath, you have a bar up there in the container, so you don't have to leave your viewing platform to get it drink and I think this will be a very exciting uh, piece and a nice spot to be. Pretty cool looking and Stefan I understand you have some other things you want to show us as well. Yes I would like to walk you over to a couple of art installations that we can look at. Let's go. So we've now moved over to the other side of Roosevelt Mall with Stefan Beasy and Stefan what do we have behind us here? Uh, this is a great piece it's done by Deirdre Sargent. Uh, it's actually the um, world's longest picnic table. It's uh, 250 feet long. Um, I think they are shy about a couple of inches, but we round it up to 250 feet. And that's almost and double what the previous record is? It was. almost doubles what the previous record is, and uh, uh, it will be beautiful once uh, the gates are open to the festival and you see 
Uh, this is actually the Vubu area, it's the kids area, a new addition to the festival and they start sitting here and playing at daytime and then at nighttime the adults will sit here with their drinks and you see how long this is, this is a, this is a great piece. And we're not really near any stages here, this is a place to sort of get away this, and relax. The stage actually will be in place, you see this truck over there, this is, will fold out and it will be a stage just for the Vubu area. And Stefan puts that accent on it and makes you think a picnic table is art. But it's, a, it's art in that it's an interactive experience. If people are going to be eating out here, they need a place to sit down yeah, and eat. So it's definitely. A, it's a lot a of interesting things to look at. I mean, and, and, I, and I said it to the lady we had on earlier with Life is Art. Things that just make you go, hmm, what is it? What well, you know, that? sometimes when you go to a music festival, you listen to the band and you start drifting off. You got something to look at when you drift off. Although there's always, right. a, I mean, if you're people watching, uh, that's that's always something to do at a festival too. But it's just different. It, it brings really the cultural experience all together. Sort of accents all the stages, yeah. and uh, a lot of these art exhibits.